Let's go to item number 11. Item number 11, department and committee report non-action items. Great American Cleanup Letter RIP Updates. Kathy Andrew, Environmental Services Division Manager, Environmental Services, Brian Welding, Environmental Technician, Community Services Department, 11A. Ms. Andrew, please. Morning, Commissioners. Thank you so much for allowing us just a brief opportunity to share with you about an exciting and busy day in El Paso County. Um, we had three events that day that we just want to give you a brief overview. Um, so first of all, we're going to talk about the Great American Cleanup, and I'd like to bring up Brian Welding, who is our environmental technician who kind of spearheaded this group. All of these, um, all of these events that we had, um, your staff did just a really great job, as well as just the partnerships, the jurisdictions. I mean, it was just a really great day for partnerships in El Paso County. So Brian's going to share with you a little bit about the Great American Cleanup. Good morning, commissioners, and please bear with me as I learn the ins and outs of the clicker here. The Great American Cleanup saw its fourth annual year this year, and um, building off the success of the county's Tackle the Trash uh, countywide cleanup event, in 2016, we joined forces with the city of Colorado Springs, the town of Monument, the city of Manitou Springs, the city of Fountain, and also Keep Colorado Springs Beautiful to form the Pikes Peak Partners and spearhead the Great American Cleanup event. This year's organizing committee is far too numerous to uh, mention each person, but uh, it's, it's been a months long process to, to pull together this event and everyone that was involved did a fantastic job. We had event sites this year ranging to all the compass points of the county, north, south, east, and west, and we just had a fantastic event this year and some of the highlights were we had 24 cleanup sites throughout the county this year and finally graced with some good weather on this event. We normally get snow in April, but we had some beautiful weather after the fog burned off in the morning, and we saw 1,139 volunteers come out, and they collected a staggering 1,214 bags of trash along with a lot of other miscellaneous items. Uh, Pike View Reservoir, their site alone removed almost a ton of debris from that area, which was just astounding. The uh, fantastic team from Keep Colorado Springs Beautiful uh, volunteered their time out of the Bear Creek Dog Park and they shoveled some debris out of the creek there and did a lot of fantastic cleanup work. Uh, some of the park staff members there mentioned that it is the cleanest they've seen that park and they were really happy with the great turnout. I think they had 150 some odd volunteers there. We had 180 members of the USA Olympic swim team come out to America the Beautiful Park, and I'm assuming since they were Olympic swimmers, they probably did a fantastic job of cleaning the creek out there. I'm just assuming on that point. We had great media coverage from KRDO, which involved a radio spot beforehand that helped us advertise the event, and they also did some news coverage the day of the event. And just some highlight photos, which feature some familiar faces there, I think you might know. And we'd like to very much thank uh, the commissioners for coming out and adding to the great success of this event. It was just a fantastic day. And with that, I'm going to turn over the keys back to my illustrious environmental services manager, Kathy Andrew. Thank you, commissioners. Thank you. I'm sure that wasn't yours. You borrowed that from somebody else. So one of the other events that went on on that same day, April 27th, was the Letter Rip event right out front here um, on Vermaho Avenue. Ver Verma Vermaho Avenue, correct. Uh, there was a difference between Vermaho Street and Vermaho, Vermaho Avenue, I learned that. Um, but anyway, um, we partnered with the Better Business Bureau. This is the fourth year that we've held this event, and um, what a success it was this year. Um, we had 962 participants that went through our line, both from Cascade and Sawatch, coming, coming opposite directions. Um, and we, we never had a line more than seven or eight cars. I got so many compliments this year on how we ran this, um, the Letter Rip event, because several years ago we had quite a backup down Cascade, back um, Colorado, not good. Um, and I just had so many compliments this year. We, we did have a, a sign up online. 
where um, people had to have a ticket, a free ticket, of course, to be able to attend the event. Better Business Bureau, what a great partnership they are. They, they bring out their staff, um, volunteers, and so we were able to service all of these individuals quickly, take their boxes out of their cars, and get their papers shredded to prevent um, identity theft. Um, the Better Business Bureau additionally was able to collect over $2,000 for their scholarship fund. So again, that was a great day here in El Paso County. Also on that day at the El Paso County Household Hazardous Waste Facility, we held the 17th Annual Natural National Drug Take Back Day. This is a initiative of the Drug Enforcement Agency to help um, citizens be able to um, properly dispose of their medications. The Household Hazardous Waste Facility has participated in all 17 of these events. And so we're very happy, along with the Sheriff's Office and uh, Colorado Springs uh, Police Department, to be able to offer the facility to um, be available for citizens to come and bring their unwanted medications. Um, the federal government normally is a bit slow in getting the numbers out, so I only have the numbers from October, um, from the October 18th event. I do not have the ones from this year yet. Um, but you can see here, um, these, are, these are nationwide um, law enforcement participation, collection sites. Total weight collected in October, 914,000 pounds. And as you can see, and like I say, El Paso County has been involved since day one of this take back day, over 10 million pounds of drugs that they've actually taken off that people have brought um, to properly dispose. So we're just really happy to um, be a part of that and um, thank you for allowing us to do that. And that's it, April 27th, great day in El Paso County. I told Tim, I was just really, it was just an exciting day for me. I was just really proud, even after 20 some years, just to be an El Paso County employee and be a part of it. So thank you for allowing us to do that. It's really growing significantly. It's a lot to be proud of. Any other comments? Thank you. Yep, thank Commissioner you, Gonzalez. Thank you, well, thank you, but I want to thank the public that came out. It sounds like they had Absolutely. over 1,000 volunteers, and uh, I'm just really pleased to see so many people bear, care about the beauty of our community. Thank you. Absolutely. That Great American Cleanup has just really, um, you know, from the inception of the Tackle the Trash in 2013, where we probably had 200 the first year, it's amazing how it's grown. Really exciting. Thank you, Commissioners. All right. Thank you.